if sine of the quantity x plus y minus sine of the quantity x minus y equals two times f of x times sine y, we want to find f of x. So we want to find this function here. But to do this, we're going to ignore the right side here and we'll apply the sum and difference identity for sine to the left side. Then we'll simplify and see how it matches the right side of our equation. So the sum and difference identity for sine is given here below. Notice a would be equal to x and b equals y. So again, a equals x and b equals y. So we'll begin by applying the sum identity for sine for sine of the quantity x plus y. And to keep things organized, we'll put that in parentheses and then we'll subtract sine of the quantity x minus y when we apply the difference identity for sine. So for sine of the quantity x plus y, we begin with sine a times cosine b, which again is sine x times cosine y. Notice how because we have a sum of two angles here, we'll also have a sum for the sum identity. So we'll have plus cosine a times sine b would be cosine x times sine y. And then we have minus sine of the quantity x minus y. And because we have a difference of two angles now, notice how we'll have a difference of two products. We begin with sine a times cosine b, which again is sine x times cosine y and then minus cosine a times sine b would be cosine x times sine y. And now we'll clear the parentheses and then combine like terms. So if it's helpful, we can think of distributing a positive one here to clear the parentheses. And because we're subtracting the difference of these products, it can be helpful to think of distributing a negative one. Of course, when we distribute a positive one, nothing's gonna change. So we have sine x times cosine y plus cosine x times sine y. Now here, when we distribute a negative one, it's gonna change the signs inside the parentheses. So we'll have minus sine x cosine y And then here we have a negative times a negative, or we're subtracting a negative, so it's going to be plus cosine x times sine y. And now let's carefully identify the like terms. Notice here we have sine x cosine y, and here we have minus sine x cosine y. So these are like terms. And also notice here we have cosine x times sine y, plus cosine x times sine y. So simplifying, notice that sine x times cosine y minus sine x times cosine y would be zero. So this difference gives us zero. And then we have cosine x sine y plus cosine x sine y, which would give us two cosine x sine y. So this tells us that sine of the quantity x plus y minus sine of the quantity x minus y equals two times cosine x times sine y. And looking at the original problem, they told us the left side is equal to two times f of x times sine y. And for the homework, we're only entering f of x so notice how f of x would be equal to cosine x. So for the homework, f of x equals cosine x. But again, the most important part of this question is to be able to apply the sum and difference identity for sine, simplify, to obtain two cosine x sine y. I hope you found this helpful.